Acid An acid is a molecule or ion capable of donating a hydrogen, proton or hydrogen ion H, or, alternatively, capable of forming a covalent bond with an electron pair, a Lewis acid. The first category of acids is the proton donors or Brunsted acids. In the special case of aqueous solutions, proton donors form the hydronium ion HO and are known as Arrhenius acids. Brunsted and Lowry generalized the Arrhenius theory to include non-aqueous solvents. A Brunsted or Arrhenius acid usually contains a hydrogen atom bonded to a chemical structure that is still energetically favorable after loss of H. Aqueous Arrhenius acids have characteristic properties which provide a practical description of an acid. Acids form aqueous solutions with a sour taste, can turn blue litmus red, and react with bases and certain metals, like calcium, to form salts. The word acid is derived from the Latin acidus slash acere meaning sour. An aqueous solution of an acid has a pH less than 7 and is colloquially also referred to as acid, as in dissolved in acid, while the strict definition refers only to the solute. A lower pH means a higher acidity, and thus a higher concentration of positive hydrogen ions in the solution. Chemicals or substances having the property of an acid are said to be acidic. Common aqueous acids include hydrochloric acid. A solution of hydrogen chloride which is found in gastric acid in the stomach and activates digestive enzymes, acetic acid, vinegar is a dilute aqueous solution of this liquid, sulfuric acid, used in car batteries, and citric acid, found in citrus fruits. As these examples show, acids, in the colloquial sense, can be solutions or pure substances, and can be derived from acids, in the strict sense, that are solids, liquids, or gases. Strong acids and some concentrated weak acids are corrosive, but there are exceptions such as carburanes and boric acid. The second category of acids are Lewis acids, which form a covalent bond with an electron pair. An example is boron trifluoride, BF, whose boron atom has a vacant orbital which can form a covalent bond by sharing a lone pair of electrons on an atom in the base, for example the nitrogen atom in ammonia, NH. Lewis considered this as a generalization of Brunsted definition so that an acid is a chemical species that accepts electron pairs either directly or by releasing protons, H, into the solution, which then accept electron pairs. However, hydrogen chloride, acetic acid, and most other Brunsted-Lowry acids cannot form a covalent bond with an electron pair and are therefore not Lewis acids. Conversely, many Lewis acids are not Arrhenius or Brunsted-Lowry acids. In modern terminology, an acid is implicitly a Brunsted acid and not a Lewis acid, since chemists almost always refer to a Lewis acid explicitly as a Lewis acid. Modern definitions are concerned with the fundamental chemical reactions common to all acids. Most acids encountered in everyday life are aqueous solutions, or can be dissolved in water, so the Arrhenius and Brunsted-Lowry definitions are the most relevant. The Brunsted-Lowry definition is the most widely used definition, unless otherwise specified. Acid-base reactions are assumed to involve the transfer of a proton, H, from an acid to a base. Hydronium ions are acids according to all three definitions. Although alcohols and amines can be Brunsted-Lowry acids, they can also function as Lewis bases due to the lone pairs of electrons on their oxygen and nitrogen atoms. The Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius attributed the properties of acidity to hydrogen ions, H, or protons in 1884. An Arrhenius acid is a substance that, when added to water, increases the concentration of H ions in the water. Note that chemists often write H ac and refer to the hydrogen ion when describing acid-base reactions but the free hydrogen nucleus, a proton, does not exist alone in water, it exists as the hydronium ion, HO. Thus, an Arrhenius acid can also be described as a substance that increases the concentration of hydronium ions when added to water. Examples include molecular substances such as HCl and acetic acid. An Arrhenius base, on the other hand, is a substance which increases the concentration of hydroxide, O, ions when dissolved in water. This decreases the concentration of hydronium because the ions react to form HO molecules. HO plus O HO plus HO. Due to this equilibrium, any increase in the concentration of hydronium is accompanied by a decrease in the concentration of hydroxide. Thus, an Arrhenius acid could also be said to be one that decreases hydroxide concentration, while an Arrhenius base increases it. In an acidic solution, the concentration of hydronium ions is greater than 10 moles per liter. 
since pH is defined as the negative logarithm of the concentration of hydronium ions, acidic solutions thus have a pH of less than 7. While the Arrhenius concept is useful for describing many reactions, it is also quite limited in its scope. In 1923 chemists Johannes Nikolaus Brunsted and Thomas Martin Lowry independently recognized that acid-base reactions involve the transfer of a proton. A Brunsted-Lowry acid, or simply Brunsted acid, is a species that donates a proton to a Brunsted-Lowry base. Brunsted-Lowry acid-base theory has several advantages over Arrhenius theory. Consider the following reactions of acetic acid, CH2, the organic acid that gives vinegar its characteristic taste. Both theories easily describe the first reaction, CH2 acts as an Arrhenius acid because it acts as a source of HO when dissolved in water, and it acts as a Brunsted acid by donating a proton to water. In the second example CH2 undergoes the same transformation, in this case donating a proton to ammonia, NH, but does not relate to the Arrhenius definition of an acid because the reaction does not produce hydronium. Nevertheless, CH2 is both an Arrhenius and a Brunsted-Lowry acid. Brunsted-Lowry theory can be used to describe reactions of molecular compounds in non-aqueous solution or the gas phase. Hydrogen chloride, HCl, and ammonia combine under several different conditions to form ammonium chloride, NHCl. In aqueous solution HCl behaves as hydrochloric acid and exists as hydronium and chloride ion stop the following reactions illustrate the limitations of Arrhenius's definition. As with the acetic acid reactions, both definitions work for the first example, where water is the solvent and hydronium ion is formed by the HCl solute. The next two reactions do not involve the formation of ions but are still proton transfer reactions. In the second reaction hydrogen chloride and ammonia, dissolved in benzene react to form solid ammonium chloride in a benzene solvent and in the third gaseous HCl and NH combine to form the solid. A third, only marginally related concept was proposed in 1923 by Gilbert and Lewis, which includes reactions with acid-base characteristics that do not involve a proton transfer. A Lewis acid is a species that accepts a pair of electrons from another species, in other words, it is an electron pair acceptor. Brunsted acid-base reactions are proton transfer reactions while Lewis acid-base reactions are electron pair transfers. Many Lewis acids are not Brunsted-Lowry acids. Contrast how the following reactions are described in terms of acid basic chemistry in the first reaction of fluoride ion, F, gives up an electron pair to boron trifluoride to form the product tetrafluoroborate. Fluoride loses a pair of valence electrons because the electrons shared in the B, F bond are located in the region of space between the two atomic nuclei and are therefore more distant from the fluoride nucleus than they are in the lone fluoride ion. Bf is a Lewis acid because it accepts the electron pair from fluoride. This reaction cannot be described in terms of Brunsted theory because there is no proton transfer. The second reaction can be described using either theory. A proton is transferred from an unspecified Brunsted acid to ammonia, a Brunsted base. Alternatively, ammonia acts as a Lewis base and transfers a lone pair of electrons to form a bond with a hydrogen ion. The species that gains the electron pair is the Lewis acid, for example. The oxygen atom in HO gains a pair of electrons when one of the H, O bonds is broken and the electrons shared in the bond become localized on oxygen. Depending on the context, a Lewis acid may also be described as an oxidizer or an electrophile. Organic Brunsted acids, such as acetic, citric, or oxalic acid, are not Lewis acids. They dissociate in water to produce a Lewis acid, H, but at the same time also yield an equal amount of a Lewis base, acetate citrate, or oxalate, respectively, for the acids mentioned. Few, if any, of the acids discussed in the following are Lewis acids. Reactions of acids are often generalized in the form HA H plus A, where HA represents the acid and A is the conjugate base. This reaction is referred to as protolysis. The protonated form, HA, of an acid is also sometimes referred to as the free acid. Acid-base conjugate pairs differ by one proton and can be interconverted by the addition or removal of a proton, protonation and deprotonation, respectively. Note that the acid can be the charged species and the conjugate base can be neutral in which case the generalized reaction scheme could be written as HA H plus A. Dot in solution there exists an equilibrium between the acid and its conjugate base. The equilibrium constant K is an expression of the equilibrium concentrations of the molecules or the ions in solution. 
Brackets indicate concentration, such that, ho, means the concentration of ho. The acid dissociation constant K is generally used in the context of acid-base reactions. The numerical value of K is equal to the product of the concentrations of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants, where the reactant is the acid, ha, and the products are the conjugate base and H. The stronger of two acids will have a higher K than the weaker acid, the ratio of hydrogen ions to acid will be higher for the stronger acid as the stronger acid has a greater tendency to lose its proton. Because the range of possible values for K spans many orders of magnitude, a more manageable constant, pK is more frequently used, where pK equals minus log K. Stronger acids have a smaller pK than weaker acids. Experimentally determined pK at 25 degrees Celsius in aqueous solution are often quoted in textbooks and reference material. In the classical naming system, acids are named according to their anions. That ionic suffix is dropped and replaced with a new suffix, and sometimes prefix, according to the table below. For example, HCl has chloride as its anion, so the ide suffix makes it take the form hydrochloric acid. In the IAPAC naming system, aqueous is simply added to the name of the ionic compound. Thus, for hydrogen chloride, the IAPAC name would be aqueous hydrogen chloride. The prefix hydro is added only if the acid is made up of just hydrogen and another element. Classical naming system The strength of an acid refers to its ability or tendency to lose a proton. A strong acid is one that completely dissociates in water, in other words, one mole of a strong acid HA dissolve S in water yielding one mole of H and one mole of the conjugate base, A, and none of the protonated acid HA. In contrast, a weak acid only partially dissociates and at equilibrium both the acid and the conjugate base or in solution. Examples of strong acids are hydrochloric acid, HCl, hydroiodic acid, HI, hydrobromic acid, HBr, perchloric acid, HLO, nitric acid, HNO, and sulfuric acid, HSO. In water each of these essentially ionizes 100%. The stronger an acid is, the more easily it loses a proton. H2 key factors that contribute to the ease of deprotonation are the polarity of the H, a bond and the size of atom A which determines the strength of the H, a bond. Acid strengths are also often discussed in terms of the stability of the conjugate base. Stronger acids have a larger K and a more negative pK than weaker acids. Sulfonic acids, which are organic oxyacids, are a class of strong acids. A common example is toluene sulfonic acid, tosylic acid. Unlike sulfuric acid itself, sulfonic acids can be solids. In fact, Polystyrene functionalized into polystyrene sulfonate is a solid strongly acidic plastic that is filterable. Superacids are acids stronger than 100% sulfuric acid. Examples of superacids are fluoroandimonic acid, magic acid and perchloric acid. Superacids can permanently protonate water to give ionic, crystalline hydronium salts. They can also quantitatively stabilize carbocations. While K measures the strength of an acid compound, the strength of an aqueous acid solution is measured by pH, which is an indication of the concentration of hydronium in solution. The pH of a simple solution of an acid compound in water is determined by the dilution of the compound and the compound's K. Monoprotic acids, also known as monobasic acids, are those acids that are able to donate one proton per molecule during the process of dissociation, sometimes called ionization as shown below, symbolized by HA. Common examples of monoprotic acids and mineral acids include hydrochloric acid, HCl, and nitric acid, HNO. On the other hand, for organic acids the term mainly indicates the presence of one carboxylic acid group and sometimes these acids are known as monocarboxylic acid. Examples in organic acids include formic acid, HU, acetic acid, CHKU, and benzoic acid, CHKU. Polyprotic acids, also known as polybasic acids, are able to donate more than one proton per acid molecule, in contrast to monoprotic acids that only donate one proton per molecule. Specific types of polyprotic acids have more specific names, such as diprotic, or dibasic, acid, two potential protons to donate, and triprotic, or tribasic, acid, three potential protons to donate. A diprotic acid, here symbolized by HA, can undergo one or two dissociations depending on the pH. Each dissociation has its own dissociation constant, K and K.
The first dissociation constant is typically greater than the second, i.e., kk. For example, sulfuric acid, HSO, can donate one proton to form the bisulfate anion, HSO, for which k is very large, then it can donate a second proton to form the sulfate anion, so, wherein the k is intermediate strength. The large k for the first dissociation makes sulfuric a strong acid. In a similar manner, the weak unstable carbonic acid can lose one proton to form bicarbonate anion and lose a second to form carbonate anion, CO. Both K values are small, but KK. A triprotic acid, HA, huh, can undergo one, two, or three dissociations and has three dissociation constants, where KKK. An inorganic example of a triprotic acid is orthophosphoric acid, HPO, usually just called phosphoric acid. All three protons can be successively lost to yield HPO, then HPO, and finally PO, the orthophosphate ion, usually just called phosphate. Even though the positions of the three protons on the original phosphoric acid molecule are equivalent, the successive K values differ since it is energetically less favorable to lose a proton if the conjugate base is more negatively charged. An organic example of a triprotic acid is citric acid, which can successively lose three protons to finally form the citrate ion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.